as we had expected that gold below 1735 may see a little drop and see 1729 levels it has achieved it still has some room for it to go drop further but what is going to happen we will see in detail likewise us 100 and us 30 both trading with a good rise i hope you all profited as both traded above the levels at which we have asked you to remain long now what is going to happen today we will see with the help of candlestick charts and indicators missing on to subscribe this channel is missing on the profits do not commit this mistake do like share subscribe and comment do watch till the end do listen to it carefully first We'll start with gold followed with Nasdaq 100 and in the end Dow Jones do listen to it carefully. On the early, now look at the early charts on gold it is skewed downwards at the same time it is giving you higher lows. I will watch out for 1730 now if it drops below 1730 it will call for a further drop and then we can expect it to drop till towards C. This zone is important 172830 and then below that we will see it dropping till towards 1725. 1720 and then below that we may see a good fall so you can stay short but let it go and let it drop below 17 30 levels i think that is a good level for you to remain short on directional movement moderately uh, it is bearish trying to cross over a stochastic looking downwards macd has crossed over and it is trading in the sell side rsi is looking downwards too indicating bearishness there on the two hour charts likewise if you see it is skewed on the downside indicating it can give you a good fall on the downside the sky is wide open so with the stop loss at 1735 yes you can remain short the first target should be at around 1728 30 levels and then below that we may see it dropping till towards 1725 levels directional movement bearish stochastic looking upwards macd is willing to converge crossover it is right now trading in green and if you look at the RSI, this is looking downwards, indicating little bearishness there. And on the 3 hour charts, if you look at, see the previous two candles. Rather, I will say, see the previous few candles. Now, here you can see, this is the 20 period moving average, which is provided a very perfect resistance. And hence, 17, 37, 38 zone is something you should watch out for, only above which one can stay long and then 17 40 45 levels will be seen as it may continue with the drop and see till the time it trades below till the time it trades below 17 35 you can expect it to drop and then we can expect 17 30 and this time it may give you a wider drop and we can look forward to 17 25 levels also so be watchful of that 17 25 24 a good support then 17 15 18 levels should come into picture directional moment bearish stochastic is trading near to bottom and it is trying to cross over for a bullish move be cautious there macd trading in green trying to convert crossover rsi trading flat and near to bottom there likewise on the four hour charts it is giving you lower highs and lower lows you can go long if you see it trading above 1735 you can go long just be cautious of 1737 levels and beyond that we can again expect 1740 and 1745 levels so you can go long above 1735 previously this was the levels to go short and now you, these are the levels beyond which you can stay long but remember 1737 38 very strong resistance then 1740 42 and 45 levels will come into picture you have to trade with a stop loss you have to trade with a trailing stop loss and today till the time it trades below 1735 you can expect it to drop further this time we can expect it to drop for 1725 and in fact it can drop below. directional movement bearish stochastic looking downwards macd is in the bearish side it is willing to cross over but failing to do so rsi trading flat on the daily charts if you look at on the daily chart see previous few candles higher highs lower lows this time it is trading flat and it trying to drop again if it drops it may give you a good drop it can give you a sharp red candle and it can resume the downward trend from here onwards so with the stop loss at 1735 you can stay long stay short but remember 17 uh, 1730 levels is a good support and below that 1724 25 is the level you should watch out for below 1724 25 we can expect it to drop further till towards 1718 1715 levels yes uh, those who want to take a safe entry only go short below 1730 levels below 1730 you can expect it to drop for 1725 24 so in between 1730 35 you have to be cautious above 1735 you can take a long entry then wait for 37 38 and beyond that we wait, we can look forward to 1740 42 and plus plus levels 1745 can be seen directional movement bearish stochastic is comfortable it is looking upwards but let's see if it does macd divergent and bearish rsi sloping downwards so considering this 
uh, till the time it trades below 1735 we can expect the first target at 1730 then we can expect the next target at around 172425 below 1724 we can expect it to drop further for 1718 1750 levels take your positions accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss do not stick to your bias that it is going to drop or it is going to rise first thing is to preserve your capital if you see it moving in your direction just within 2 or 3 dollars of move you have to shift your stop loss to cost anything closed without a profit or with little profit is a learning for you and definitely it will give you confidence to take further trades in profit so trade accordingly at the same time go long above 1735 then 1737 38 is the immediate resistance and then 1740 42 zone and 1745 ultimate resistance beyond that it will fly for 1750 1755 levels so in between 1730 35 stay cautious stay alert take your positions accordingly let's have a look at nasdaq 100 and yes if you want to learn the art of trading profitably you can join my mentorship batch 15 days 90 minutes daily lifetime support is what you get definitely it will help you become a profitable and proficient trader reach out to me for more details my telegram and email id is mentioned in the channel and video description also you can be part of my patron page where one uh, membership tier is just for support the effort and your every Uh, support is a motivation to me just become that supporting member else you can be part of my signals uh, tier where you will get the scope and uh, you will get the opportunity to discuss with me all the future positional trade future uh, prospects of your trades current positional trades intraday trades and the signals i'll be providing there too so you can be part of that tier also now look at the hourly charts on nasdaq 100 it was trading outside the bollinger bands it is showing a reversal probably it is looking forward to drop i'll look forward to 12550 levels and 12500 if it drops below 12500 consider that as a reversal and then from there it will carry forward with the drop i'll look forward to 12550 specifically very strong support at 12540 550 you can go short below 12540 expect it to drop rather you can go short now itself and uh, put the stop loss here at 12650 only 60 points of drop and uh, with the 60 points of stop loss you can stay short and you can expect it to drop further first support at 12550 12540 and then 12500 very strong support at around 12500 what we have seen also remember it is trying to trade in this supporting line there and also this is the immediate support line so 12550 as the first support and then around 12520 500 is the next support if it drops below 12500 consider that as bearish and it may drop further it may fall strongly on the downside Also on the early chart, rather you can put the stop loss at twelve six thirty, and you can uh, trade with the stop loss there. Trade remain short with the stop loss at twelve six thirty itself. Directional movement bullish, willing to converge. Stochastic overbought, looking downwards from here. MACD is in green, trying to converge. Stochastic looking uh, RSI looking downwards here. Likewise, if you see the two hour charts, on the two hour chart, see we have seen the lower highs here. Just see. lower highs on the candles trying to trade with a drop so if it breaks past this zone at 12630 650 it is definitely going to hit 12700 and plus plus level till the time it trades below 12650 probably you can expect a drop how far it can go now see it is trying to trade in this channel the support there at 12550 12500 is very very strong only if it breaks past 12500 you can expect it to drop else 12700 is the ultimate level so in between 12550 125 or uh, and 12700 you have to exercise little bit caution there directional movement bullish it has just crossed over stochastic looking downwards macd divergent and bullish it must converge from here rsi looking downwards here and if you look at the 3 hour charts see on the 3 hour charts it is seen the high it is trying to see the low see the channel highs are still at 12700 remember that fact and yes you can go short here at around 12580 then to expect 12550 as a good support and then 12540 12500 is the strongest support below that it is going to crash further till towards 12400 12300 12200 levels on the upside 12650 definitely a stronger resistance beyond that 12700 is the target beyond 12700 it will fly high on the upside direction movement uh, trying to take a bullish cross stochastic near to top there macd has just crossed over it is divergent and it is bullish rsi is again trying to look downwards on the four hour charts 
See, one should consider this as reversal only if it draws below 12500. Now, below 12500, you can stay short and it is going to give you sharp fall for 12400. And below that, it is continue. It will continue and resume the downward trend, which I expect it to do so. But at the same time, 12700 is a very strong resistance. Be watchful of 12700, 720. Beyond that, 12800 levels will come into picture. Directional movement bear is trying to converge. Stochastic looking upwards. MACD has just crossed over, it is divergent and it is bullish. RSI is still trying to look downwards from here. Now look at the daily charts. Now see on the daily charts, it has seen the highs of this swing. It has to see the lows of this swing. If not today, possibly tomorrow, it might show you the lows of this swing. Also, if you look at, this is the parallel here. Yes, if you see it dropping below 12,500, go short there, then 12,400, 12,350. 300 levels can be seen at the same time yes above 12650 you can expect 12700 12720 and then 12800 levels will come into picture directional movement is still bearish on the daily charts stochastic is at bottom trying to rise from here macd is divergent and it is still bearish it is trying to converge here rsi is looking upwards considering this yes you can go long about 12630 levels then expect 12650 as a good resistance and then it will try to hit 12700 very strong uh, resistance at 12700 and then 12720 if it breaks beyond you can expect 12800 also so go long at 12630 stay long about 12630 first 12650 you can just close at 20 points re-enter again if you see it trading in your direction then expect 12700 720 and then 12800 levels on on the downside yes you can go short here itself till the time it trades below 12630 you can expect 12550 as a very strong support you can go short at 12550 expect it to draw for 12500 very strong support there at 12500 so in between 12500 and 12550 you have to exercise caution today these are the levels where it is going to reverse if it has to reverse it is going to go it is going to reverse from any point of from these levels in between 12500 and 12550 if it is bearish it will draw below 12500 it will take it till towards 12400 and then it will try to hit 12300 also we have to exercise caution while it is it trades between 12500 and 550 levels so take your positions accordingly trade accordingly trade profitably now let's have a look at dow jones us 30 on the early charts is showing the classical move see the rise from here and the retracement then consolidation the rise from here see the the candle size is almost candle type is almost same and now the reversal is there it is also trying to reverse and then it is trying to consolidate so rise retracement consolidation rise retracement and see the high there the height there is diminishing here indicating that the bullishness is getting diminished here so yes if you see it trading beyond this zone at 32 350 there you can go long and then you can expect it to rise for 32 400 and beyond that 32 500 plus this levels can be seen on the downside for the day 32 200 is something you should watch out for we will see further into detail direction movement bullish stochastic overbought trying to look downwards MACD bullish trying to converge RSI trading flat here and if you look at the 2 hour charts on the 2 hour chart see uh, if it gives you the candles in this shape and then if you see it breaking beyond this zone at 32 350 if you see it trading above this levels yes you can stay long there than 32 400 and then this time it can try to hit 32 500 which is going to be the ultimate resistance on the downside till 30 to 200 you have to be cautious and then 30 to 150 if these two levels are taken it is going to crash till towards 32,000 levels directional movement is still bearish stochastic near to overbought looking downwards MACD has seen a high it must try to converge RSI trading flat and if you look at the three R charts look at the type of the candle there see the candle height is diminishing here and see the previous candle got a strong pullback now it is trying to reverse so yes only long entry if you see it trading beyond 32 350 then you can expect 32 400 and then 32 500 levels will also be seen at the same time till the time it trades below 32 350 you can stay short and on the downside it can come back till towards 32 200 and 32 150 these are the strong support zone so in between 32 150 and 32 500 it may try to swing a bit directional movement is bearish stochastic is near to top macd is divergent it is bullish it is crossed over rsi is near to top 
Likewise, if you see the four hour charts on the four hour chart, see the candle size, a bigger candle, a smaller candle, then a further bigger candle. And it is trying to now decide the direction. See, the bullishness is diminishing. That is for sure. And only if it succeeds to trade about 30 to 400, you can expect 30 to 500, 550, 600 levels. 30 to 500, 550, 600, very strong resistance zone till here. And succeeding above this, definitely it will fly. Or the downside, 30 to 200, you should watch out for. And 30 to 150. Below 30 to 150, definitely a stronger fall can be seen. Directional movement, moderately bearish. Stochastic near to top. MACD has just crossed over two candles apart it is divergent it must show the bullishness there rsi trading flat near to bottom on the daily charts if you look at, see on the daily charts let's try to draw a parallel see this is the 50 period moving average and i told you in morning 32 5 uh, this zone at 32 0, 5, 0, 100 period moving average may provide a resistance also on the downside if it tries to create a channel out there 30 to 200 is the ultimate support only if it draws below 30 to 200 uh, 32,000 you can expect a further drop so first thing is you should look forward to 30 to 150 if it drops below 30 to 150 it can give you further drop towards 30 to 050 and then 32,000 levels remember 32,000 if it breaks you have to go short 30 to 900 30 to 800 30 to 700 below levels are also possible don't expect that it is going to do so let's have a further detailed look with the help of indicator directional movement bearish stochastic is oversold Yes, if it can sustain overbought levels, it can sustain oversold levels too. MACD divergent and bearish, it must start to converge. RSI looking on upwards. Considering this, remember till the time, yes, you can go long about 30 to 350, but expect 30 to 400 as the very immediate resistance and then 30 to 500 as the next resistance. Beyond that, we may see it flying for 30 to 550 and 600. 30 to 500, 600 zone is the ultimate resistance for. Uh, US 30 this time, if it successfully trades above 30 to 600, we can expect more bulls out there. And yes, uh, if it reverses from this zone, possibly for the day, you have to be cautious in between 30 to 200 and 30 to 350. Below 30 to 200, you can expect 30 to 150 levels. And below 30 to 150, it will drop for 30 to 050 and 30 to 1000 levels. If it drops below 32,000 level, there is no other way but to remain short and it is going to crash heavily on the downside. I don't expect so but these are markets. Anything is possible. Right now it is appears that it is overbought on the near term. We may see a little retracement till towards 30 to 200. And if it drops below 30 to 200, possibility exists that 30 to 050, 32,000 levels can be seen. A larger trading zone between 32,000 to 32,500, 550 can be seen. A narrower trading zone between 30 to 200 to 500 can be seen. And in between this, you have to be very cautious. Go long about 30 to 350. Go until the time, rather I will say, right now you can remain short and uh, with the stop loss at 30 to 350, you can remain short. Expect it to drop for 30 to 250, 200 levels and then below that we can see a further fall. To take your position accordingly, trade with profits, trade with the stop loss. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. Thank you.